We need to come together, and that's exactly what the U.S. CIB is helping us to do, bringing stakeholders together to tackle the toughest challenges. For example, in the innovation area, a driver of growth, U.S. CIB's new Green Economies Dialogue Initiative is engaging not just business, but key government, academic, NGO experts to identify what works, what doesn't, and when it comes to green technology. We're also strongly advocating for global intellectual property rights protection so that there's strong incentive for innovation to continue. The USCIB and uh, our global network are also working hard to map out a much more ambitious trade agenda and one that hopefully we can achieve uh, much more quickly, focused not just on opening markets worldwide, but also improving the conditions for investment since we all know from the experience that trade and investment are two sides of the same coin. Um, in terms of some of those kinds of initiatives, we have to jump on our relationships with Japan very quickly. Since Korea, we need to open up our discussions in terms of uh, uh, Brazil and hopefully trying to expand uh, you know, what the original NAFTA uh, issue was, bilateral investment treaties in India, as well as the Trans-Pacific Partnership and getting more people to come in there. As BIAC Chairman Charlie Heater, and I know Charlie's here tonight, and uh, he was with me uh, at the G20, uh, he spoke to the labor ministers in September, and I quote, uh, with decisive action, we risk prolonging record levels of long-term unemployment and having millions more young people enter adulthood without the prospect of meaningful work. This would be tragic for the individuals involved, it would be tragic for their families, and it would be tragic for their communities. And by the way, as we all know, uh, you know, when we start talking about youth unemployment, uh, youth being 24 years old and, and younger, imagine that in the United States today, uh, over 20 percent of our youth uh, are unemployed, uh, that have gone through the right mechanisms to do it. Europe is in a far worse position of the 27 countries that make it up. Uh, the range of youth unemployment now goes from 25 percent to 45 percent. Just absolutely untenable and all agree that government and business have got to find once again a way to work together. And finally, with so much uncertainty in the global economy these days, it's reassuring that the USCIB is actively making business's voice, your voice, collectively heard as we work with all stakeholders. There's much work ahead, and if we want to see the prosperity we know is possible, again, we have to work smartly and together. But let's also remember that individual leaders can make an enormous difference as well. And that's why tonight's uh, special, special honor uh, to my very good friend Andrew Liveris is an especially, especially worthy uh, recipient of this year's International Leadership Award. And I look forward to um, uh, uh, honoring him in just a bit later.